What is going on guys? This is Rich here back with another video and this video might look a little different, not like the norm. Uh, I know I know it's been a minute since I brought you guys a review. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't have my camera anymore. Uh, so uh, I'm using my phone right now. So hopefully the quality is okay. We'll get back to normal uh, soon, but we'll work with this for now. But we're back on track bringing videos for you guys. And today uh, we have a sneaker that I did not expect uh, that I would get for retail, but there was a restock and I'm very grateful that there was. I was able to hit with zero issues. I got in and checked out very quickly and now I got them. They shipped very fast and we're going to talk about them today. So without further ado, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> today we're going to be talking about the Jordan 1 A Ma Maniers. So this shoe actually released a couple of weeks ago and um, on the initial drop, I was ready to go. I was, I was zoned in. I was ready to go and I had a complete brain fart when the shoe dropped. And when I finally got to the checkout, I had like a 20 minute wait. And so it was an L. I did not think that I would get these for retail, but luckily when uh, they when I uh, checked Twitter and just checked out about them, cause I was about to pay resale, they actually announced that they were doing a restock. Uh, so when, I, when the restock happened, I was tuned in, I was ready to go. And I actually, like I said before, right when I added to cart, I answered the question, I drew the stupid little box, but then I got right to the checkout. Like literally, as soon as I hit checkout, I was in the payment screen. It literally took me 30 seconds to check out. So very, very grateful because I did not want to pay resale uh, for this shoe. But I actually already have the Jordan uh, uh, Jordan 3s on my money here, so I really wanted to complete the set. And now we have them. And first impressions, these are beautiful. So the one thing I really like about Ama Manier and their releases is that when you get this shoe, the materials, they feel premium. It feels classy. It feels upscale. There's not a lot of collaborations that you get that when you get the shoe, you're like, okay, I understand why it costs this much. I understand the hype. Uh, these are just absolutely beautiful. You have this burgundy colorway um, on the swoosh and on the top of the shoe. And then you have, it feels like it's like a suede. I don't, I wanna say suede, I don't know the exact material, but it feels very soft. One thing I did notice is that the material kind of comes off if you rub it, uh, but it just feels very premium. I love the colorway. It's a very neutral colorway. You can rock this with so many different things um, and it's gonna look good. They do come with an extra set of laces as well. So you can mix it up. They have the burgundy laces by default but then they have some more like lighter tone cream laces, if I'm correct, they're in my shoe boxes over there. So, but it comes with those as well. Um, it's just a really dope, very high quality uh, Jordan. You have the Ama Manier uh, tag on the, um, on the tongue of the shoe. Uh, they just did a really good job. And this, what I wanna also say is, I really, really commend them for trying to make this release as fair as possible because with some of these releases the the websites are so crappy that they sell out so quick but with this one i feel like it was it was just very very well handled i mean if you were on the site you had a very high chance of copying this shoe and i saw a lot of releases uh or a lot of um pairs that were released that a lot of manual users got so it's always very good to see uh, when manual users are able to get a shoe. As far as sizing, it's a Jordan 1, so go with your regular sizing. I'm a size 11. I went true to size, I tried them on, they feel perfectly fine. Uh, as far as resale right now, they're hovering around 400 and up. I think that's a pretty fair price for what this type of shoe is. I actually would expect this to be a lot higher, but the fact that the resale isn't too bad, if you're someone that struck out and you really want the shoe, it's definitely a shoe that I think that is worth the resale. I almost was, I almost had to pay that resale, but I'm glad I didn't because at the end of the day, getting these for retail uh, is just a huge dub. Also, like I said before, I did get the Jordan 3 on my years, and now I have the uh, Jordan 1, so the set is complete. Uh, very happy about that. And uh, it's just a dope shoe. If you're someone who's looking to get this, it's worth it, trust me. Premium materials, a very neutral colorway that you can wear uh, with so many different things. Uh, will I say these are better than the Jordan 3s? Me personally, I don't think so. I still think the Jordan 3s are better than this. Not by much, but I still prefer the Jordan 3s 
but this is a very well executed sneaker. And uh, for everybody who got the W on these, congrats, you got a great shoe. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments, did you get this shoe? Did you pass? Do you have any of the Amman Manier uh, Jordans that released this year? What do you think of their release methods? I think a lot more companies should really take advantage of, or not take advantage, but really look at how this release was done and implement them into their releases. But we'll see what happens. But of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, uh, make sure to subscribe. That way you'll be updated on when our next video drops. I'm gonna try to get more consistent with this just because you know we're back, got, got my phone right now. So we're gonna work with that for the time being. But I really appreciate you guys for hanging in there and checking out the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.